Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool elephant telephone. These are highly collectible and this is Catherine's equipment from Nevada. And so basically uh, we have one issue we want to go over first. This is the uh, cradle for the hook switch and it looks like it was probably broken in shipping and although she had this telephone packed pretty good these are uh, elephants are too heavy for any kind of uh, shipping with the cradle and installed on the telephone. So what we do is when we ship these telephones this actually will uh, come off of here and this is the center piece and it has a screw in it so that uh, it can be taken off and I want to show that to you real quick so you just remove the screw and then your cradle would be kinda like this before it was broke and then that way you can ship this cradle in the box without any chances of it getting broken because of the weight of the elephant and so we want to go through this since it's the initial checkout we also have an issue with a handset it needs to be gone through and taken care of it's pretty loose we also know because we've troubleshooted this telephone a little bit already that our receiver capsule is bad so that's going to be removed right now there's no sense in uh, even keeping that in the unit the receiver capsule is bad it has been tested we'll set that to the side now we also want to go through the rotary the rotary is uh, pretty loose the finger wheel we want to go through that oil clean and adjust that we want to tighten up this rotary if possible we also want to repair the line cord. Somebody has spliced it together, and so we want to get rid of all that. We want to replace the line cord totally. So that uh, will be taken care of. We have the elephant loose, the saddle here, and that would be where your hook switch is. And I want to kind of just raise this up a little bit and give you a look at uh, what the insides of this telephone basically look like that would be your PC board your hook switch and your bell and then we have all of our lines coming out for our handset and our line cord so we're gonna go ahead and get a start on this uh, elephant and get him repaired for Catherine and uh, We'll take a short break and we'll come back and get some more video as soon as we move forward in the repair of this telephone. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we have removed the rotary. And so we definitely want to go through the rotary. We want to oil, clean, and adjust the rotary. We want to make sure that our numbers are racking off properly. And if you've never seen the inside of one of these rotaries for these elephant telephones, this is what it looks like. And I want to go ahead and uh, show you that and give you a look at that. So we'll be going through this rotary. We also want to get involved into the handset here and uh, we'll make some repairs there and take care of the issues. So we'll go ahead and take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we're in the middle of the process of repairing this elephant telephone, and we're going to show you a few things that's going on. Now, we went ahead and replaced the line cord. Earlier in the video, we showed the line cord um, was in bad condition. Uh, somebody had spliced in another piece of line cord to it, and we made sure the line cord was plenty long. It's probably uh, 8 to 10 foot long at this point. 
So we also want to talk about uh, the PC board. Uh, there was an issue on the PC board that was repaired and now on the hook switch, what happened when this telephone was shipped? We've got a couple pieces of the old cradle and that all snapped and broke because this elephant is basically too heavy to uh, ship without really packing it very well. So what we do is we have another cradle here. We do not ship the elephant telephones with a cradle on them. We uh, put them to the side in the box and they do not get shipped with the uh, cradle on the telephone like I'm showing here. We take it off, we remove it, and then we pack it and ship it with the elephant. If it's on the elephant and shipment, it's probably going to get broke. So another issue we took care of is the connections on this style network. Um, basically, they're round post and they're standoffs. And the idea is to slide down with the fitting on top of that post. And I do not trust those connections. So what we do when we repair these type of uh, networks, and there's a couple of uh, phones that this network's in, is we hot glue them so that the connection does not unplug at some point or in shipping or, you know, just from just everyday use. And we don't want any of the wires to come out from where they're plugged into. So we hot glue that. Another issue I want to talk about is the handset. Now, we've replaced the receiver capsule. I want to set this down for a second. The old receiver capsule we knew was bad from troubleshooting at the very beginning of the uh, repair process. Now I want to show you the transmitter. What happens on these transmitters, the T1s, is they have carbon granule crystals in them and so basically what happens is they get noisy over time and they start a static sensation sound so I'm not sure the video will pick this up in the receiver but now that the receiver works we also have an issue with a transmitter it's noisy and it's pretty bad so we got to change that too I'm gonna go ahead and plug the unit in and give you some dial tone and then I want to tap Take dial tone away. So if you can hear that sizzling and popping through the receiver, the transmitter is definitely got to be replaced. We're going to unplug the unit. So now what we want to do is we want to start reinstalling our PC board and our bracket that holds everything back into the elephant. We're going to change our T1 transmitter. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. We want to show you another issue that we found with this telephone. And so in ringing the bell, what we found was the bell did not ring very well. And this is your solenoid for the bell. And what we have here is the axle. And I want to pull this axle out. And basically what this solenoid is called with this axle is an open-ended solenoid or an open-ended axle solenoid. And that axle bounces back and forth when the voltage runs through the coils and that's an AC voltage. So this axle just kind of goes back and forth like that and that's what gongs the bell or this is basically what would be your clapper and so if you look at this unit you can see the axle is dirty and basically what happens here is we need to clean up the uh, solenoid on the inside and we need to clean this axle up but if you see this white residue on this axle it's supposed to be metal colored and it's basically white that's a buildup of dirt or maybe somebody sprayed it at one time with something, but now it has collected up. That has to be polished out and so that it travels smoothly in the open-ended axle solenoid. So, 
basically we're going to do that. We're going to see how the bell rings after uh, we get this cleaned up and we'll test it then and see if we uh, get a better ring cycle. And so we'll go from there. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with a repair of this elephant telephone. And we want to talk about the bell. We showed earlier in the video that this bell had issues. And from troubleshooting the bell, it turned out that it was not dependable. So it was replaced. We're going to set it to the side. It's of no use to us. We also want to show that we have a pickup here. That's an amplified pickup. That's so that the receiver audio can be heard on our final checkout. And we want to go ahead and turn our amplifier on for our pickup. And we want to use the analyzer and we're going to ring the telephone a few times. We're going to let that ring a few more times since that was one of the issues. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. Go ahead and answer the unit. Give you some dial tone. We're going to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer there, you'll watch our numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. You can watch that red light on the analyzer there. Every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. So now that we know that this telephone is ringing in on a ring cycle, it's dialing out, it has transmit and receive, we want to go ahead and hit our switch box here and when I press that button that gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and we'll call a time and temp number so when I push this switch we will get dial tone we'll go ahead and call that number Go ahead and hang up. We can call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. Turn off the amplifier. Hang our unit up. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Kathleen and she can enjoy this telephone now. Although there was a lot of repair issues, it's a highly collectible, very sought after telephone and it's well worth any repair that you would have into it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.